guys. So today I'm gonna show you how to turn this to this. tuning in my name is Whitney and this is house and heart have you guys ever wondered how you guys can get like a pottery barn feel or like a restoration hardware feel for a fraction of the cost so today we're gonna kind of talk about that I'm gonna have some inspiration photos that I'm gonna put up here um, of kind of how I want my patio to look so today we are gonna be tackling my patio and it is gonna be it's I've been looking forward to this for so so long but without further ado Let's get DIY in. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this patio transformation video. I've been looking forward to this for so many months and it's finally here. Right now our patio really isn't prepared for spring and my intention for this space is to have a warm and cozy aesthetic and to be able to host friends and family throughout the spring and summer months. I'm starting this patio transformation with a DIY planter project. When I was looking for different planters, there have been a lot of planters that fit my aesthetic. However, many of them come with a very expensive price tag attached. And my goal is to obtain the same vibe or aesthetic with the things I already have. So I simply took my two planters that I've had for a while now and put a base coat in charcoal on it so that when I do my little painting technique in a little bit, some of the black will pop through and it will give it some dimension. And if you're wondering where those two candlesticks came from, just be in tune for my next video. Please subscribe down below and I will definitely let you guys know when that one is up. Here I started with brown, white, and tan paint colors, and then I took a paper towel and made it a little bit damp. So for this technique, I just tapped my towel into the colors and then started patting it around the planter to give it more of like a clay feel or appearance and to add some dimension. And with this method, it really is challenging to mess it up just because you can change the colors to whatever you want and you can just kind of see what type of pattern or um, just mixture you like the best. And I am so excited for you guys to see this at the end. They turned out so, so cute. So underneath the planter's rim or like lip there, um, I'm not going up like underneath there and like making sure I get every single little crack or crevice just because these are going to be on the floor and people are not going to see that. So anyway, you do you. If you want to do that underneath there, go for it. I just chose not to. For this next pot, just to save time, I did kind of just smear the brown and the tan colors over it and then I was just going to kind of dab over it um, to give it some more texture, but that's kind of why I chose this method.
All right, guys, so this is kind of how it turned out. I love it. Um, I just think it looks a lot more like stone, and you can even see some of the like dark color, the black underneath, and I just really like that dimension. Next, I'm gonna use my Rust-Oleum Clear Matte Enamel. This product's purpose is to protect the pot from any outdoor elements, and it also locks in my paint design. So I did use about two to four coats on this pot just because I wanted to make sure it was very protected. For now moving outside, I just started by cleaning up my patio cement floor. There were just a lot of dead leaves and dirt that I just wanted to remove to make sure that the space was clear. There were also a lot of dead leaves in the rocks by my front door, so I just kind of fluffed them out with my broom and I was able to get the majority of them out. Next, I'm moving our outdoor storage box by our window. This was very dusty, so I'm just gonna be cleaning it off with my thief spray. So my ultimate favorite part of transforming our patio was definitely planting our flowers. So the pots had dried and they actually held up really, really good. These flowers are from Home Depot and were very decently priced. So anywhere from like $17 to $30 per pot. And I usually just get the hanging flowers and then replant them in my floor planters. I think that they give a very fresh and airy feel to our patio. So these two little clay water plates, I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but um, I've decided to paint them the same way I did the planters just so that they match. However, I'm not going to be doing that today and I do think that they still look really, really cute with these pots. So a tip for outdoor pictures or like plaques that you are placing outside and they can get wet 
if you just use like a clear matte enamel on them, um, they will be protected from like rain and water and stuff so that it's like outdoor proof. This one I got from Home Goods, which has 1 Corinthians 13 on it, which is primarily just the chapter on love and shows us what love looks like. Next, I'm just setting up our little storage container here to act more like a coffee table. Okay, I'm setting it up as if I was hosting. So I brought out a little tray with a glass jar um, that I got from TJ Maxx and for all these cute little lemons from Michaels. I just think that there's something so fresh and eerie about having some kind of fruit displayed. And I also brought some of the gardening utensils out. This cute little orange wreath I got at Home Goods, and it was like $15. Wow, so I am just so pleased with how this space turned out. It honestly overmet my expectations for how I thought in my head it was gonna look. And I'm just so excited to use it this spring and summer um, to host family and friends, as well as in evenings when Nate and I will just hang out on the front patio. So anyway, I hope you guys found this video inspiring and motivational for you to tackle your own outdoor space. If you did find it motivational, it would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe to my channel and like this video. Nate and I do have a goal of reaching a thousand subscribers and then he will be doing my voiceover, which will be very entertaining. As always, I hope you guys have an amazing day and keep your house and heart decluttered and clean.